guys. So this is, as you can tell, number three of the Easter, Easter sorry, nail tutorial. This is a simple, um, pretty pastel purple manicure with some bling as well. So what you're going to need, of course, I started out with my base coat from Jamberry. I will leave that in the description below. I used this one because it's a smoothing, right, yeah, smoothing base coat, but it also has like a white tint to it, which will make my color pop. So, of course, you need your base coat, you need a top coat, whatever pastel you want. I chose pastel purple by Clean Color, and that's what that is, and yeah, and then, of course, you'll need... Some rhinestones, if you want to use the rhinestones, you don't have to. And then I have my wax pencil. And if I run out, I have more rhinestones over here. So, as you can tell, I've already started out. You're going to paint all your nails with the pastel purple. I left my ring finger um, undone. I did all the other ones done first. Because I want to take advantage of the purple polish being wet still when I apply my rhinestones. Because that should help you in the long run when they're trying to apply them because they'll it'll help them stay longer. And these you can get at any general store, really. Uh, I bought them online on eBay. I got two packages of them. So, yeah. So, you're just going to paint as you can do as little or as much as you want. I mean, almost the whole nail is going to be covered in rhinestones. I may cover the whole thing in rhinestones. I'm not sure yet. And I think I'm feeling the whole nail. So you just want to take your polish and give it a good coat. And make sure you get everywhere still wet with the polish. Now as you can tell... There's the color. Then you're going to take your wax pencil. It's really simple. Which this one's probably not going to be the best because, of course, I have it on a towel. It's probably not smart that I did it on a towel. We're going to try to transfer the rhinestones to the table. Probably not going to be the best way, but... Yeah. Whatever we have there, it's fine. Yeah, so yeah, they're all over the table now, <laughs> which probably wasn't a good idea, but oh well. Now you're just going to take them and place them wherever you want to. And of course, I'm not going to do them so close together because I want to have that purple come through. And you can use any size rhinestones you want, if you want to use rhinestones. You most definitely don't have to, because I know some people find rhinestones to be a pain in the butt. So I know I do sometimes. So they get annoying on occasions. Most people don't like to keep their polish wet when they're applying them. Because they'll use like a top coat or something. I like when it's wet because I don't have to use the top coat. I mean, I know it makes the polish look puffy and all, but I don't care. Because, yeah. Because I just don't. And either way, they both work perfectly fine. You can use your polish. You can use your top coat. You can use a nail... Uh, rhinestone applique, whatever works for you, is what you're going to use, you know? Now, of course, you can use whatever color rhinestones, 
whatever color polish you want. I'm just doing this pastel purple because uh, it is really pretty for Easter since this is an Easter tutorial. So I just used the pastel purple because I like the purple. It's really pretty. It's not like too powering either. It's really calm. So, and there's your bling. See? Nice and simple, but yet still, still good, you know? Now you want to make sure these are all on your nails good. Because if not, they will pop off. So I just go around and push them in even more. And yeah, so I'm going to let these dry for a minute and then I'll come back to you guys. Alright, cool. So I've let them dry. On the purple without the rhinestones, I have applied my fast drying top coat by Jamberry. I will leave that in the description below as well, as well as my website for Jamberry. So yeah, and then I'm going to apply top coat to this because this, some people say don't apply top coat to your rhinestones because it'll take the dullness away. I don't care. <laughs> I know that sounds really like, well, Autumn, what do you mean? But because the nail polish pops through, I prefer to put it on top of the rhinestones because it'll adhere to the polish as well as the rhinestones. And it doesn't take too much bling. I mean... You still have a lot of bling on your finger, trust, you can see it. It's not like it's bad. And of course you can take your little orange sticker, whatever you have around, clean up those edges if you need to. If you need be. So yeah, that's the nail style. And I will leave the top coat, quick drying top coat. I will leave the base coat. I will leave the polish all in the description bar below. And yeah, so I'll see you guys for maybe a tutorial number four of the Easter tutorials. Bye, guys.